In this series of videos that you will be viewing, uh, we will use terminology that we're familiar with. It may conflict with some other parts of the country, but try to uh, accustom yourself to the terminology we use. The first part of this video will be the stance. We want a stance uh, the same for defense as offense. Head up, neck in, eyes on the midline of the body. The upper body relaxed, lower body coiled, spring-loaded we call it, with your knees flexed in either position. The inside of the feet should be about the outside width of the shoulders. Very important. Weight on the inside of the feet, now not on the toes or on the heels. This enables side-to-side -side movement as well as backward and forward. Elbows are in, the fingers up, and the thumbs in. You can see from our illustrations, proper fundamentals as they are in. One very cautious thing, do not ever reach. You don't reach. If you do, the, the offensive man will time it, and he'll be on you. Your two choices and stances, the square stance or the drop step stance. The square stance, you can go either way, but you can also be hit either way. In the drop step stance, it's usually a forward backward uh, uh, stance, uh, but it's good to defend yourself. But um, a good wrestler should be capable of using both. But the long lanky uh, boys or athletes usually use the drop step stance uh, predominantly. Short, stocky, uh, muscular uh, fellows will use the square stance. But remember what I said, on the square stance, you can be hit from either side but you can also attack from either side. You should be able to do both. A good stance is mighty, mighty important. Never let a man pull your head down. If he uh, attempts to do that, you must flex your knees and, and meet him at his level. A wrestler should work as close as arm's length in a balanced stance for uh, offense or defense. Once a wrestler learns sound defense, he'll gain confidence and that's what we're looking for, and become an offensive competitor as well. Counter-offense is then chain wrestling. 